Hi, this is Ime, and you're watching Video Nurse, where I answer a question from the public from YouTube um, or from my blog, quickquestionconsult.blogspot.com, or offline at imeis underscore sdc, answering your questions about health, mental health, or relationship issues. Now, I don't take any questions that are serious health conditions. Those should be treated by a doctor or by a psychologist, psychiatrist, if it's a psychiatric issue. Um, and in no way am I trying to diagnose or treat anybody um, using the internet. Instead, it's to answer common questions and to help you find resources on the internet so you can make a good decision about your own health or the health of somebody that you love. And it's just meant to be for fun. Um, Again, not for serious health conditions. So send in your questions. And the question that came in recently is from Ariana in Seattle, Washington. She had a question about what a BMI is and whether or not it is a accurate way to measure your health status. Also, she wanted to know if there was a better or a more inexpensive way to get a measurement on what a normal weight would be. Well, it's a great question, Ariana. Thanks for sending that in. And here's my answer to you. First of all, a BMI stands for Body Mass Index. And it was something developed by um, a physician back in the 1890s, actually. And it was adopted by the medical community because it's a fair uh, way of measuring your height to weight proportion. Now, what exactly it does is though it doesn't measure body fat directly like weighing somebody underwater, um, which is a more expensive method, but it is more accurate. What this does is just give you an alternative for body fat measurement. Um, you use a formula called the BMI formula, which is weight um, divided by your height in inches squared and then multiplied by 703. Um, instead of doing that by hand, there's BMI calculators. All you have to do is go on Google and Google in the keywords BMI calculator, and it will give you several choices that you can pick from placing in your um, height in inches and your weight in pounds, or you can get it in the metric system as well. Another easy way is just to get a sheet like this downloaded from the internet. Again, you can find this probably on the um, on a couple of different websites that are out there. Just go on Google again and look for this um, BMI chart. Um, and what you'll do is you'll go across the top, finding your weight after you found your height in inches. And then you'll see on the along the top is the BMI number and normal is considered uh, between 18.5 and 24.9. If you're underweight, you're usually below 18.5. And if you are between 25 and 29.9 in your BMI, you're considered overweight. And anything above 30 is considered obese and needs um, action or, or care directly to change those numbers so that you're not in the obese ca uh, category where you have the most uh, health problems associated with obesity. Now, um, something that uh, the BMI is in terms of its benefits is it's um, calculated quickly. You don't have to use any expensive equipment. You don't have to be measured underwater. Um, but it doesn't take in account any of these other factors such as frame size and muscularity. So if you were a, an athlete like in the Olympics now, um, you're going to weigh more because muscle weighs more and your frame, your bones are going to be heavier, but that isn't taken account of in the BMI. So your weight's going to show up heavier, even though you may not have very much fat on you. And so your BMI will show up higher. So athletes, children, and the elderly, um, we don't use the BMI to measure them. Uh, the other things that it doesn't take into account are fat, bone, cartilage, water weight, and more. So, uh, in fact, one person that I knew some time ago, she complained because she was on the very, very low end of the BMI scale and could never seem to be um, in the right category for her to stay out of the hospital. 
And so basically she complained vehemently and said, hey, I could take a crap and my BMI would, you know, drop. And, and she was correct in that sense. She could also go and drink, you know, a liter of water and actually bump her BMI up. So, um, you know, you have to take those things in account that it's not the most accurate there. Um, the U.S. will use uh, for insurance the BMI to help determine who's in the healthier categories and whether or not they might have a propensity towards certain health uh, problems if they're in the higher category. Um, and if you're in a, a health insurance you know, group, they're not likely to do that. Also, these are guidelines that are you know, used in the United States. In Asia, for example, the BMI ranges for what's normal are a little bit lower because we're smaller people, and, and so um, these numbers aren't as accurate in terms of its range to measure us. Okay, so um, in terms of something that's cheaper, no, the BMI is pretty much it. Um, in terms of something more accurate, definitely getting yourself weighed underwater would give you a better picture. Hope I answered your questions. If you have a question out there about health, mental health, or relationship, again, you can contact me through my blog, quickquestionconsult.blogspot.com and leave an anonymous tip. You can also contact me on YouTube through Your Little China Girl, my channel here, and send me a message offline and give me permission to use your question, your first name, and your city that you're in uh, so that I can acknowledge you. Um, and you can also contact me on my email address, imeis underscore sdc at yahoo.com. So everybody out there, be well and stay tuned for another uh, installment of Video Nurse. Thanks a lot, guys.